Hi, I'm Marcus. I like the Shopify Dawn theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom section using the Tailwind CSS framework. We are creating a simple carousel section with a custom styling. The final result will look like this. This is a standard Shopify store with the Shopify Dawn theme. And uh, as you can see on in the top, you see the normal image banner and below is uh, the image carousel we're going to create. The image carousel just uh, loops through and uh, you can use, also use the navigation buttons on the left and on the right to navigate through the carousel. And now I show you how this looks like on the theme editor. So let's switch to the theme editor. And on the left hand side, you see the sections and you can see uh, the, one of the sections is the image carousel. The image carousel has a, a title. Uh, you can uh, change the title uh, and the button text and you are able to, to add and modify the images. This is uh, what we are going to create in, in this tutorial video. As a preparation for this demo, I installed the Shopify CLI and cloned the Dawn theme GitHub repository. This is the Dawn GitHub repository, and uh, this is the cloned version to my private repository. The setup is beyond this tutorial, but uh, I created a blog post on Medium to explain how to set, up, set it up correctly. You'll find the link uh, to this blog post uh, in the description of the video. So let's verify the setup. In the terminal, I enter Shopify store. This shows me the store I'm currently connected uh, through the CLI. I created a demo store for this uh, tutorial and now let's uh, test GitHub as well. Let's just say H minus T. GitHub.com. As you can see, GitHub is also configured correctly. Now I start the local development environment. The first URL is the link to the local version in the browser. And the second URL points to the theme editor for the local development version. So let's open the URL in the browser. This is the local development version of the Dawn theme. And now let's open the theme editor. This is the theme editor for the local development version. As you can see in the title here, this is a special branch of the theme editor for your local development environment. It is important to notice when you make updates on the theme editor of, on this theme editor version that you have to pull back the changes to your repository. So, for example, let's make a small change on the theme settings. Go to the theme settings, for instance, layout, and set the maximum width to 1200. Now I have to pull back this change uh, to my local environment. I go back to the Visual Studio Code and in the browser, I open a new shell and enter Shopify theme pool minus E. And I take uh, the identifier for the theme from here. Now the changes are pulled back to my local environment. And uh, as you can see in the config settings data, what has changed is exactly the page width uh, 
of 1200. Next, uh, we install Tailwind CSS and enable it in our local theme. On the Tailwind CSS website, navigate to the installation instructions and copy the instructions and enter it to the terminal. Okay, successful. As you can see, uh, a couple of files have been created. For instance, um, Tailwind config, already prepared a configuration that works with the Dawn theme. Click my clipboard. Um, let's go through it quickly. So I use a prefix uh, called X. This is just uh, that the CSS class names don't conflict with the Dawn class names. And this is the content, the liquid files uh, that need to be scanned for, for Tailwind class names. The screens, uh, this is, are the screen, screen sizes uh, that is used by the Dawn theme and the font family uh, that inherits uh, the font family from the configuration um, of, of the theme settings in, in, in the theme editor. So then create a CSS file that contains the Tailwind directives. I copy it to the clipboard and in the assets folder, I create a file called app minus Tailwind CSS and paste the directives in there. So now let's start the Tailwind CSI process. Copy the comment from the clipboard to the clipboard and um, we change input to assets app Tailwind .css and the output to assets app.css. As you can see, the JIT, the Tailwind JIT uh, compiler already started and uh, it created uh, the base version of uh, the Tailwind CSS already. The cool thing about it is uh, that it's automatically synced to uh, the, the theme as well. So uh, the last thing is uh, that we have to update the theme liquid file to load the Tailwind CSS classes. So theme liquid and we scroll down to the file where the CSS is imported and we copy it. It's important that we uh, add the, um, the Tailwind CSS classes first and then the base classes for, um, for the Dawn theme. So let's uh, quickly verify that everything is working. Therefore, I scroll down to the content area Let's take uh, the main content, for instance, and add a class, a Tailwind CSS class, X background. As you can see, we have to um, prefix uh, all the Tailwind classes with X. This is what we configured in the Tailwind CSS configuration, uh, red 600, for instance. When we switch to the preview, of the local de development environment, you see that uh, the red class is uh, added. And if we remove it, it switch back to the original version. So everything is set up and we can start creating our custom section using the Tailwind CSS classes. 
we're going to create a section with an image carousel. And for this, I'm, I'm using Siema. It's a lightweight and simple carousel with no dependencies and no styling. So we do the styling with uh, Tailwind CSS. Okay, then first let's go to the sections and create a new section called image carousel. Uh, new file, image carousel dot liquid. And um, first create a, a div plus um, page width desktop <clears throat> I create the I create the on theme classes uh, separated from from the uh, Tailwind CSS classes so and then inside we create a class we take uh, BG Red 600 and let's say XP um, 60 X text white Gold. And we create a schema definition. Schema Tag section class. I copy the classes from other sections uh, spaced section spaced section with. Settings. These are the settings for for Shima. Type. Start with it with the title. Setting and a preset. If you want to know more about how to create schemas, uh, please refer to the to the documentation of Shopify. Um, give it a name and say it's an image carousel. Okay, let's save it. So just check if everything is correct. Okay, a preset is not valid. Um, of course, it has to be presets. Okay, fixed. Now I'll switch to the theme editor. And on the left hand side, you see all the sections. And um, if I go scroll down to add section, I'm able to see the image carousel that we just created. Now let's add the image carousel to, to the front page. 
you can see that this is exactly what we, what we created. Let's save it. And um, now, now it's, uh, you can see we create a custom section with uh, Tailwind CSS classes. I don't guide you through the full implementation of the image carousel. I prepared something in advance and uh, step through the implementation quickly. You can read through the full source code uh, through my public GitHub repository and make it public so it can um, view it in detail. So this is the image carousel implementation. Uh, I simply import the schema JavaScript in the on the top. This is uh, where the blocks are iterated through and the images are added. And these are the two buttons for, for the navigation. You can always see the um, Tailwind CSS classes uh, with the X prefix. And below here is just a, a small box where you add a title and a link to, to a collection, for instance. Uh, this is below there. This is the small JavaScript that is uh, used and um, then the schema definition itself with the blocks. These are the images. This is nothing really complicated. Okay, let's save it. And uh, now we use this carousel. Let's switch back to the theme editor. I reload it quickly. Okay, and I add the image carousel again. When I go to the image carousel, I give it a title, for instance, um, yeah, image carousel title, a button text. Go to collection and uh, a link which a collection all collections this doesn't matter what what it is and now let's add the images i prepared two images one it's just a sim simple image from from unsplashed select this one and the second image this one. Okay, now you can see we prepared the image carousel. Let's save it with uh, a title text, a button, a button, and a link to the button. And we added uh, two images. We could add uh, more images as well. And um, we have a loop interval of six seconds, so it uh, loops automatically, but we can also uh, use the buttons to navigate through through the collection. Okay, that's it. If we look at the, the preview page, <clears throat> and we, if we scroll to the bottom, we see the navigation added to our DOM theme. I think you get a, a quick overview and um, a feeling how to, to create custom sections with Tailwind CSS. I think Tailwind CSS is a powerful uh, framework and the perfect addition and a perfect tool to, to enhance uh, the, the standard DOM theme.